Good morning. How is everyone this morning? Hey there. Hi. I treated myself with a big spend today. What did you buy? I got a whole muffin. You got a cake. You're eating a cake for breakfast. It's a muffin. No, that's a cake, Steph. It's a muffin. Eggs, sugar, fucking flour. Muffin. <laughs> muffin. So you're having a cake. Muffin. Cake for breakfast. Muffin. Wonderful. You're doing great. Like me, the healthy one over here, I'm having eggs, bacon, mm -hmm. chipotle mayo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have some more. Mm -mm. <laughs> so. Mm. Mm. It's good, right? He loves coffee so much. Seth drinks two cups of coffee every morning. You know that? And he wonders why mm -hmm. he's anxious. I don't drink two jittery cups of coffee. Edgy. I'm not jittery. You know that that coffee maker I have? It's like the mini one. Mm -hmm. I drink the whole thing every morning. That's a cup. Because it all fits into my mug. So if your mug is two cups. Mm -mm. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, see? So, so I have three, three cups, cups of coffee, coffee, of coffee a day. every morning. Every morning. I don't drink coffee at night. <laughs> Bacon, what are you gonna do? <laughs> I might just walked in. <laughs> so he's eating. And then I'm sitting here. We're not even having a conversation. <laughs> yes, we are. I'm looking at you judging you for drinking three cups of coffee a day. <clears throat> All that caffeine in this young body no. keeps the skin tight. I don't think that's true. Well, they do coffee masks. That's what I tell myself. <laughs> they also do bacon wraps. <laughs> do they? <laughs> they wrap you up in bacon? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, how was last night? Oh, my God. So, last night... I'm going to go get a napkin. Oh, my God, no. No, no, no. You have to just stay now. I don't know what to talk to him about. He went out last night with a woman from the BNI who's a travel agent, who mm -hmm. Mark, and I quote, said, drinks like a fish, and then decided to let his phone die and then not text me all night and not call me in the morning. So I was, like, freaking out. I was, I was like, should I call Mark? Should I call Mark, the other Mark, or Steven? Or should I call Paul? Like, who should I call? Like, what Do you I have gonna... my emergency contacts? You don't have I my don't. mother's number. I don't. Okay, we need to do that. I was, like, freaking out, and I'm like, who do I call? Like, what do I do? Am I going to call Alex, like, your brother, <laughs> to get to your mom? You need to come to my house. I was like, what? Did that not cross your mind <laughs> to actually come to the house? Well, I was going to. <laughs> if I, like, but, I'm all right, apart. all right, listen, Mark. I'm falling apart. I'm going right to need you to calm down here so I can have the other half of the sandwich once you're full. <laughs> once you're full. Um, because <laughs> I did not eat dinner last night, and I played volleyball all night. You did? Yeah, and cycled. <laughs> and also, I found a new cycling buddy, because this fucking guy goes hard. He does, like, five, six hundred mile rides. Whoa. I'm super down. And he rides like me, and I'm like, fuck yeah, I was having so much fun. Anyways. Nice. I, and he's awesome. Puerto Rican guy, Dennis, owns a restaurant. Yeah? Yeah, right in Bushwick, lives right by my house. Fucking nice house guy. Love them. Last night was a lot of fun. Yeah. We played some fun volleyball. A little cold though. It was a little chilly. Yeah. Actually, I felt really good. And we're right by the water. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. I'm, yeah, well, I was too, I guess. Yeah. Right by the water. It was pretty cold. It was pretty chilly. I met some new people who, uh, some ravers. Because there was like, like a big thing music? of house music. Nice. Like house music playing, like a big speaker. And this girl started shuffling. And I'm like, oh my god, do you do you like rave and stuff? And we got into a whole conversation and then everyone else was like, Yeah, we like we just saw Wax Motif play like last weekend. Where? At some camping trip in PA and uh some There's other so much happening in yeah. PA and in Chicago. Yeah. It was really cool. It was cool getting to know them. Yeah. Everybody was super nice, they had a lot of fun playing. I mean I they, they were playing too? Yeah. It was a little interesting because I we started playing. It's like I, what I don't like about a lot of these men that play at these places <laughs> is that they're very aggressive and they're not good enough to be that aggressive. 
and so they're like running through and doing this and that and everything. Mark, I laughed so hard. I laughed directly at him because the ball was clearly out, <laughs> and I and all of us are and I was I was the only one talking actually because everyone else was dinner wasn't really that great. So I was like, I was literally, I yelled like five times. I'm like, out, 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 looking at him. And he dove for it and hit it. <laughs> and I'm like, what is happening here? But whatever. And then he was like getting all up in people's grills. And I'm like, bro, come on. Oh. Stop. He was one of the ravers? Mm-hmm. That's so funny. <laughs> Hung out with the, our guy. He says hello. Which guy? You know. Oh. <laughs> He's there all the time. You know who it is. Oh um, my god! Cool guy. He told me he fell off his bike. <laughs> Did he fix it? Nope. Not yet. He said it's coming in the mail, mm -hmm. and then he got some fucking um. His brake like fell off. I was like, bro, you gotta get a new life. Um, his brake fell off. I don't know, man. Uh, That's crazy. This is such a great sandwich, by the way. So much spinach. Onions, tomatoes, bacon. <laughs> uh, well, at least it's not beef. Polluting the environment with your beef. I'd never do that. So, you have some exciting news to, to fill me in about this morning, correct? Yes, I do. So, because your fucking phone died and you didn't respond to me last night. What'd you ask me? My phone didn't die outside. Well, then, I got so home. then you just didn't respond no, to No, no, no. I got home and I was so tired. Oh, I literally down. just went to sleep. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so, what was your question? What'd you ask me? I said you have some news to film me. Okay. About. So the news is... So there are four pieces in the house. Initially, when the woman called me to buy the pieces that we did with the staging, she said, I want three pieces. Three pieces would have been about like 28 grand. For said, us? Mm -hmm. No. In what? total. No, it would have been 40 grand, almost. The three. Oh, I don't the know. The four would have Excuse made me. it 40. Whatever. I was just like, well, you know, why not just take all four and I'll give you like a bigger discount or this or that, whatever. And she goes, okay, that actually sounds good. Um, She's like, let me discuss with my husband, this and that, whatever. whatever. Husband. Let me discuss with my husband, whatever, whatever. So anyway, so she emailed me yesterday and she was like, hey, I would like to take one piece and leave some space for... It was a, it's a bug. It's a bug. It's a bug. Yeah, we got it. So you got one it. One of us got it. <laughs> um, She's like, I want to take one piece... <clears throat> And leave some space, you know, we want other local artists and this yeah. and that. Which whatever. still would have been good because it's 9,000. I assume you have sold her. So I'm going to talk to her today. Oh, you so I said to, to her, her yeah. no. I said to her, that sounds great. I'm happy that you want to take one of the pieces. Why don't you, me and your husband get on a call and we'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Because, oh my God, it's on your face. Why is it following you? I You're unclean. I'm not unclean. Um, so I was like, why don't we all just get on a phone call and we can work it out? And she goes, okay. So we're going to be doing that today. What time? I don't know. I'm assuming when the husband you is You don't like, have like a concrete time set with her? No. You also missed again. These tiny ones are really fast. That's so annoying. Why is it just on you? It's like, oh. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So I'm very, very happy about that. Um, even if she just takes one, I feel like it's fine. Do you want to blow the money on a truck? <laughs> what? No. You don't want to? That's a stupid idea. Why? That's a horrible way to use money. You're the one saying that you're burnt out. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's get $4,000 and then not have any consideration for rent or any of our We're getting the money from, from Kim for rent. Yes, but I still need my personal rent. And it'd be nice to have that out of the way. And also, we need we a camera. You can do the personal run too. And we need a camera. We really need a camera, Mark. You know I really true. need you to stop complaining, saying that you're tired and you're burnt out. And then you let me go surfing that. every once in a while. 
Where's the other half of your sandwich? It's over here. Are you gonna eat it? No, I don't want it now. I'm just asking for later. I don't want it right now. A good ass sandwich, guys. He's gonna take two bites and then be like, I'm so full. You don't know me. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. I'll start from this side. Mark, don't eat the shit. whole thing and then feel like shit. And then I, complain I to me about your stomach ache because you're so bloated. <laughs> so we haven't gotten the art sale yet. I, th I was assuming it was finalized, but... They're going home. But at least... Two pieces. Two pieces. Um, also, we have other artists that are New York local. So, mm -hmm. anyways. Um... What was I saying? What was I gonna say? I wanted to talk about something today. Gratitude. I think it's easy to complain and it's easy to look at what's not going right. But I think we really should start being more grateful we're literally living our dream this is what we both wanted to do with our lives have a business that has great um, potential while <laughs> helping people and here we are and I think we complain a lot like I was thinking to like the rhetoric and everything is like entrepreneurship is so hard it's so hard it's so hard we don't have money it's so hard and it's just not right. But it is hard. And we don't have money. It doesn't matter. If, if you keep focusing on the negatives, that's the only thing you will attract. We don't focus on the negatives. We talk about it a lot. And I don't think we say enough that we're so grateful to be living our dreams. And we're so grateful to have a business that everybody looks at and goes, holy shit, if you guys keep doing what you're doing, you're going to be wildly successful. I just don't think we do that. And we have to change this. Because whatever whatever you speak, that's what you're going to attract. That's why there's certain people, like, everywhere they go, it rains. Not physically. Not literally, I should say. But, you know. So let's start saying good shit and then more talk. money will come. Yes, it will come. What do we say? What do we like say? Like, this deal, it might not be what we wanted, but... It's a great deal. It's mm. free money, basically. Give it. Yeah. Oh. There it is. See? Let's see how you handle this, says, Sammy. And he says that I, I don't know him. <laughs> I finished this whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> but when it starts leaking. Just get away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, it's falling out of your mouth. Ew! Pull it up! It's so fucking annoying. That's a really good sandwich. Every morning I have a green smoothie. Um, do you call it a smoothie? Mm -mm. So it's like kale, spinach, so and lots of fruits and ginger, and aloe. It's a <clears> juice. Yeah, I have a green juice every morning. Um... But then I left my bottle here last night. Did you put it in the fridge? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I left my <laughs> bottle here last night. And um, I couldn't do it this morning. Plus, I was really in the mood for a really fatty sandwich. So I went out and got it. <laughs> yeah. And we drank so much last night, like I couldn't, um, I couldn't come home and eat. So I want it. Oh, actually, I went to Lucky, one of my favorite burger spots, and I really wanted a burger, but I had $6.50 in my account, and the cheapest burger was like $7.25. So I went home, and thank God, because <laughs> that's a lot of calories. <laughs> I love Lucky's. There's a Lucky's across from this like gay bar, 
um, there are two gay bars like facing each other in Hell's Kitchen, which is the gayborhood. And one is called Industry, the other one is called Therapy. And every night, I know, every night leaving Industry, because I prefer Industry, every night leaving Industry, like a guy would be like, hey, you want Luckies? And I'd always be like, yes. He's been buying me drinks all night and then we just go across and get Luckies. It's awesome. Or there's this like Spanish restaurant called Mama, 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 something another Mama Juana. Is it Mama Juana? Yeah, Mama Juana Cafe. And you get like the best comfort food, like the drunken food, like all the grease, all of the, the fat. And why do you grab stuff? Can't you just read and take something? He, he's, he just grabs. He's so fucking wild. Anyway. Um, it's, I want you to look back at that. What's the timestamp here? Oh my god. 9.16. So, he just grabs it. like It's like a wild animal. Anyway. I guarantee you I'll pull that up and it's not that serious. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Oh my god. Yes, your phone's so good, Mark. Remind me in one hour to ask Steph to look at timestamp 16 minutes. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what was I talking about? Um, no. We're talking about fucking comfort food markets. Yes. So pointless. And then we would go to Mama Juan and like get really, really, really good food. All right, fine. I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's just a tangent. It's not a tangent, I was saying about the luckies. Nobody knows what that is. They do know what it is. New Yorkers watch this. Do you know what do you not know what luckies is? No. No. Put it okay. Um Have you been finding it harder to wake up now that it's getting dark it's dark so early? No. I, I get up early earlier now. I fucking hate it when the like when the sun's not up. Really? Fucking hate it. it. Makes it very difficult. Mm, okay. I didn't sleep well last night. No? Why? Cause I don't think cause it's probably because you didn't answer the phone. Oh. And I kept waking up in the middle of the night thinking it was like morning time and it was like three in the morning, four in the two in the morning. You sound like Steven. He'd be like, I didn't sleep well and I was like, but why? He's like, Because you're out until five in the morning. Like, oh, sorry. He's like, I don't sleep well when you're not here. He used to always say that. And it's true, because you'd be the next day, you'd be like, so tired and groggy. <laughs> and I'd be like, I feel refreshed. Piece of shit, Mark. Massive piece of shit, man. That's what you are. <laughs> Steven's his ex boyfriend. Um, you can say that now. I've never had an ex before. It's very sad. Um. No. And now you're 30, so you're basically fucking old. Nobody wants it. But I have a younger face than you, so I don't understand. Maybe you should figure out your life and your face. I need to figure out my life. I'll have money. Everybody will want me then. That's how that works. Yes, fuck the rich child. What? Are, is that you? Are you the rich child? No, you're saying that you'll have money. <clears throat> What's the point? You're too slow. Anyway, <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, gratitude. Like we have to be more. No matter where you are in your growth or your life, just being more, <sighs> being more grateful is always good. So, and you attract better and more things to yourself. Stuff. Is it, are you fucking horny? What the fuck? Stop it! <laughs> so, um, hmm. I'm very, 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 very happy to start moving this along. I really need a kombucha. I feel like there's like so much alcohol left in me. Mm -hmm. Go shit it out. Do the two finger trick. What's a two finger trick? Put it down and you throw up. Um, Did she bring a bottle too? Absolutely. So you drank two bottles of what? I don't have a fuck. Oh my god! So th there's this rose for 12 bucks. 
that I got at the thing, it is unbelievable. No, seriously, when I got on the phone, I said to the guy, I'm like, listen, man, what's the cheapest champagne that you have? He's like, what's the occasion? I was like, first time I'm meeting this client, whatever. You've met her before? No, not oh. in person. Hmm. And she's like, <clears throat> I got the exact bottle for you, but it's rosé. But trust me. And I was like, dude, I don't have any money. He's like, it's 12 bucks. It's so underpriced. You're going to love it. I have to go back and tell him that, that he was right. Where was this? Right on next to the pizza place under the bridge. Mm. Yeah, it was awesome. Turns out I'm not Mark a. Mark is definitely straight. No, no. Turns out I fucking hate wine. I hated it. It it tasted like fine for like a sip. What the rosé? Yeah, you know, like if I'm with you and you're always drinking beer, or like with Steven, my ex, like I would always just like take a sip of your beer. It's just like, ah, oh, maybe this time it will be good, and it's never good. You always laugh at me. He always laughs at me. He's like, oh, it's disgusting. I hate beer, and the same thing. I fucking hate wine. You don't like the rosé? No. Then why did you say it was so good? It was good, but for everybody else, it would be amazing. But for me. Just like a sip and I, 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 I didn't want to do any more. So what did you drink? I had it. I drank it. You know, I just forced myself. But... What did she bring? I don't know. Some, some other wine. It wasn't red or white. I think it was a rosé too. What? <laughs> oh my god. What? What? Don't catch me dead drinking rosé. In the spirit of being more grace, uh, gracious and grateful and everything, I'm not going to respond to that. But read my mind. He literally has nothing to say. He likes alcohol that doesn't taste like alcohol. I fucking like hard liquor. That's what the fuck I yeah, drink. Yeah, when it's mixed. No. Okay. If I'm at dinner, I don't mix my drinks with, with, mix my liquor with anything. Just give it to me in a chill cup. I always order a Tanqueray 10 chill neat. Like, that's it. Never, I never mix my drinks at dinner. But we've never been to dinner, so. If I'm out in the, if I'm like partying or whatever, I'll have my gin, Tanqueray 10 or a regular Tanqueray. If they don't have either, I would do a Bombay Sapphire. If they don't have that, Hendrix. If they don't have that, I'm fucking leaving because your establishment is shit. So I'll have my gin with a splash of grapefruit juice just to give you some color so people don't think i'm an alcoholic you do ginger mark i do gin and ginger but be mostly because no nowhere has like grapefruit juice mm. like pineapple. pineapple whatever this is too much i just drank a beer yeah he just has a beer you're very much like steven like you like to explore like different beers yeah. I'm like, I know what I want. Sometimes he does the... A little spread. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they come at it with on the... Uh, how do you, the ski? Yeah. I like all beers except for IPAs. Him too! I just don't like IPAs. Yeah. It's not my thing. You like a good stout? I love a good stout. That's yeah. what Guinness is. And I like Guinness a lot. You do? You've seen me drink Guinness literally this week. One time in my entire time of knowing you've had a Guinness. You do not pay enough attention then. Okay. He buys these like like kombucha alcohol or like some weird beer. You always get different beers. Don't act like you're yeah, a gin, I like, gin, Guinness drinker. I like Guinness though and I drink a lot of stout beers. I've never seen you drink Guinness except that one time earlier this Mark, week. One of my favorite beers is Milk Stout from Brooklyn Breweries. Which means what? I drink it pretty often. That's not Guinness. No, it's not, but it's the same thing as Guinness. Okay, Stout. So. Well, <laughs> not really, but it's a Stout. Okay. Um. So we moved up the we moved up the 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 time for the show to nine a.m. EST, so that you know we can be more productive. Um, so Mark can be more productive because he was slacking. So I had to get on him about that. What? Anyway, I think you might be tired. I, I am think tired. you should go to sleep. I'm pretty tired. I feel responsible for this. I didn't now. sleep well last night. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. Thank you for being concerned for me. No, Even fine. though you called me one time. I called you five times. Did you call me five times? Oh my god, I'm so sorry! I called you this morning, I called you like ten times on every single service. Oh yeah, I saw that miss call on Facebook and this. I'm so oh my god, I didn't realize oh my god. I think because the phone was off, it I I it, it couldn't tell me. Oh Steph. I'm sorry. Message you on Discord, on WhatsApp, on fucking text. Oh, no, I feel bad. It's fine. Did you, like, did you in your heart... Just be here all tired and shit all day. No, wait. Did you feel in your heart, like, he's gonna be fine. I just... Or were you, like, really worried? <laughs> My thought was, if this motherfucker died, I don't have money to afford a, a suit. And then my next thought was, what if everyone shows up in a black suit and then I wear pink like he wants and then I'm the weird one? <clears throat> I'm gonna put this out in And the then open. I'm also like, how the fuck am I gonna take on all his sales calls? I don't wanna deal with these people. He better not be dead. <laughs> I was like, this motherfucker <laughs> cannot die when I have $16 left in my bank account. <laughs> but were you like, at least he closed the, the big deal and I could get that money? No, you didn't think of that? I wouldn't have been able to close it if you died. I'm like, fuck, I gotta shut everything down. At least the lease is in his name. We'll be all right. Ugh. Well, Seth, I gotta tell you. So, but were you like worried? I mean, if you called 10 times, that's not, that's probably. No, it's just I did it for fun. Wanted to sit there and listen to the dial tone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I never do. It's very out of character because I'm always the person who, like, I call as soon as I get home or, like, I text him, like, hey, are you home? This and that and whatever. So. I'm sorry. That will never happen again, like, ever. So. What do you have to do today? I like that you've been like trying to keep the. Let me see your hand. What? I like that. Can you not let your hand be so heavy? I like that. Stop it, Steph. You're so annoying. I like that you've been like trying to keep the back of your hand. Look at me. Look at how I'm <laughs> hustling out to hold his hand. The back of your hand clean and your knuckles. That's good. Do you do the other one too? No, I just did one. <laughs> Um, I have to watch him like this shit here you guys if as a male this right here with all that hair and like yeah, your knuckles really and gross. shit that's, that's really disgusting yeah. stop it that's not okay that's not a thing especially on the feet yes no one wants that and then this shit here where it's like coming through your shirt yeah nobody likes that yeah or on the back <laughs> no, I, he's a very good actor <laughs> he's joking if you have hair on your back and then it's like overlapping stuff i think you need to start going around the camera because every time you go by the camera it, it loses focus no but we're back now do you have the auto focus yeah. on okay because yesterday it was like not well it's because the autofocus is on that's why it loses focus is that why it loses focus? But it's okay. This time it, it caught. Okay. Um, so, like, the... Yeah, that's not... The overlapping hair, not cute. You can have your hair right here, right? But Trimmed. Trim... No. Of the same length across the entire thing. Trim the bottom region. No one wants to be sucking your dick and, like, getting caught in hair. That's not cute for Just anyone. Just save it. Women do it. You don't have to shave it just completely. Shave it. It's Fine. easier. He shaves it. But I'm just saying, you don't have to, it doesn't have to be like sparkly, you know? But Should like, be. trim it. Like, that's not cute. Okay? You guys, please, for the love of God, please, just 
Just fucking be clean. And girls, stop giving head at festivals. Or stop giving head to dudes who fucking are not down <laughs> there. Gross. Is not good. Ugh. Oh my god, somebody was blindsided by Smegma at a music festival. She stop. Yeah, I uh, don't even want to okay. hear this. The rest of this sentence. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, not interested. You should kill yourself. If you come face not to face interested. With Smegma. Stop saying that word. It's so gross. Just the word itself is disgusting, right? Stop. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 cool, cool. <laughs> moist is not even an issue here. <laughs> Some anyway. people are grossed out by moist. A lot of people are saying the word problematic is now becoming problematic. They don't like that word problematic. Why? People are fucking stupid. So you don't want to take the trip? I do. But if we're only getting four thousand dollars, we—that's probably a bad idea. I don't think it's a bad idea. Why? Because if you need it, you need it. <clears throat> no, I don't think it's a good idea, Mark. Well, no, we're doing it. So you'll be seeing Mark, us from if a we beach. get one sale. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! That means I'm gonna have to bring all the camera shit and the microphone and everything. Mm-hmm. Oh, I have a little mic stand I can use. And I have a, I have one of those like long bags that we can put some of these like mic stands. No, we, I don't need mm -hmm. this. We'll do, do it across the table or something. Okay. Bring a tripod. Yeah. I have my massive, um, you've seen it before, the orange bag. You know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about, right? But will the mic stand, will the tripod fit in it? The tripod will fit. Literally, you can fit in that bag. I'm not even gonna. I have actually crawled inside of that bag and fit myself in it. No, you haven't. You have? Yep. That's so funny. I can fit inside of that bag. That's how big it is. You can't actually pack it all the way full, or else they won't let you take it as a carry on. Yeah. Yeah. It's that big. Like, not even weight wise, it's just that big. It's. it's Do you know? Like, um, it's like the size of two carry ons if yeah. you fill it all the way up. Yeah. Which is great because then you can take stuff back, bring stuff back with you, and I just check it. Space. You don't check bags. Well, I do check bags, but I can't check that bag. Why? Because I'm ch I check my surfboard. Mm. I'll put it on mine then. Maybe we can fill it all the way up and just I'll. Uh, yeah, I could probably do that, but it doesn't matter. I'll just keep it as one bag. Okay. Or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. Because I do like, I want to bring my little messenger bag on the plane with me with my laptop and everything in it. Mm -hmm. We'll see. I don't know how it goes. I don't like carrying a lot of stuff, though. That's the thing. And then it's weird with that bag because... It's weird with that bag because it's like a backpack. How much is the, how much is the, this uh, El Salvador trip? <laughs> with what? The, the, the all-inclusive? Together, it'll be probably like 4000 We'll do it. All I'm gonna do is take out. I'm gonna just take out your rent. It's Mark. I don't know, man. Like we really need stuff. Stuff. The the guy Jahan. So yesterday was a really really good day. So there's a guy named Jahan. He works at Jahan. He works at Compass, and he's an independent broker, and he's desperately looking for a stager. That job is ours. You do know this. Every two, every like two hours. He opens the email and, and goes through the portfolio. He's like really excited. The um, young guy? Mm -hmm. And then what about the other guy, Paul or Nigel? No, the other guy, no. The, you know what I'm yes. the big guy? Yes. The other guy is Jacques. And like Jacques is also very, very excited. And then we have this month's rent already in the bag because of, of this woman. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, you know she texted me last night? Of course she did. At 10.30, she of goes she like, did. Oh my god, I'm such a ditz. My, my, my son's basketball game is at 11.15. Can you guys come at 10.30 so we can do the family picture? Guess so. So I responded this morning, I was like, sure. Mm. And then she just sent me another email. Nice. Well, I'll be here tomorrow. So. What are you doing here tomorrow? Work. What? 
looping Stefan in. So I have been working on paring down my script, blah, blah. She's crazy. She's super neurotic. Gog sent me the proposal. He did? Yeah. What did it say? It said, do October 1st, $15,000. Oh my god, I got the email too. I'm serious, that's what he wrote. It was like what he's saying, and he's like, and then we'll start with your LinkedIn op after optimization and everything on Monday. I'm like, all right, bro, you can chill out. So tell him what, all right, so two things. For so him, well, I guess for him, 15,000 is no money, like for people he works with generally, so it would be that easy. Hmm. It's not really what we can do. Do you want to talk about um, what happened with, with this guy, Gog? Yeah, so, Gwag. Maybe we shouldn't say his name so much. Gog, 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 Gog with a goatee with the with the, the striped goatee. Gog, that Gog, Gog that went to Harvard and MIT. Gog. Wouldn't it be funny if people started messaging us and they're like, "That guy's a scam artist. Stay away from." <laughs> Gag that talks so loud and so fast and wants to be so cool. Gag. Um, <laughs> Mark and I were very shook after our meeting with him. <laughs> we didn't really know what happened. A real fast talker, this one. Um, and <laughs> he, he went, what did he say? I'm the Liam Neeson of, of something, something, another. <laughs> of talking to people. He's like, Oh, like talking to, I don't even remember what he said. It was too Can much. Can you talk about what the meeting was about? Oh, yeah, uh, sure. I'm we cannot use this as a platform to talk shit about our clients and prospective people that we're going to work with, Steph. Fuck <laughs> us. What the fuck? We're so going to get sued. All right, listen. Gog. No, stop <laughs> saying his name. Gog. Listen to me, man. So what we talked about yesterday was that he, what he's really good at is talking to high net worth people, people who just sold their house or connecting, connecting businesses with high net worth people. So it, he does basically B2C sales, but very high end luxury B2C sales. Very high C's. Yeah. Um, so what he was basically proposing was that he would take us on for six months for $15,000, not a month for the whole period. And then he would hook us up with a hundred people a, a hundred um contacts per week. 100 contacts per week of executives people who just sold their companies people who just ipo'd whatever it is uh you know people who have a large influx of money that week or month um and we would basically pitch to them and that's it basically that's what he does in a nutshell yeah so he was saying how connected he was and, you know, he's the smartest in the industry and he knows all the people over at Tao and he knows everybody over Goldman at everywhere. Sachs Goldman and Sachs. Something net jets. I don't even know Sapphire, what that is. Sapphire. Strip club. Which is actually a really good strip club. It was like right under the, the Queensborough Bridge and it's like right next to my house. <laughs> it's actually, it's a really good time. I have another um, five years so I can go to a strip club. No, some strip clubs, they let you in at 21. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Huh. Interesting. So. I, technically, you could go to a, a, the fully nude ones. Because there's no alcohol allowed in those well, places. You definitely can't go to the fully nude ones. Why? <laughs> so, are you crazy? It would be overrun with young boys. That does not make any sense. But there's, there's no alcohol allowed in those places. No, but you have to be a certain age. Those are the 25 ones. Oh, yeah? Yes. Hmm. Weird. I don't think a lot of young guys are going to strip clubs. That's definitely like an older guy thing to do. <laughs> I love strip clubs. I don't think there's a lot of millennials going to a lot of strip clubs. I why they're not fucking. <laughs> so when you pay for sex, it's that's what's racking up the numbers? Mm -hmm. I love every I my I have a love hate relationship with strippers, but I love a good strip club. I hate strippers because they're living my dreams. Because I would love to just fucking 
dance for a living and fucking make people feel good. No, he wouldn't. Yes, I would. That's literally my dream job. But, you know, so I always give other people money to give to them. Why don't you give it to them? Because I'm like, fuck you for living my dreams and having all this, this fun. I, I've never tipped a stripper. I've always given the money to somebody else and given it. And I'm like, don't touch me and don't fucking dance on me. I just want to look at you in envy. I'm green with envy. And sometimes it makes me very angry because I'm like, ah, fuck you. Like gay strip clubs or straight strip clubs? Every strip club. I love all strip clubs. I love strippers. I have a lot of stripper friends, both gay and straight, men and women. Uh, I have a straight friend. He, um, he. Do, I know you've told me this. What? I don't know. He's a he's a straight guy that does. He dances at a gay strip club. Well, and he fucks a lot through all the cocaine and drugs. No, not That's that how guy. He gets through it. He, oh, another guy. Another. He guy. actually just resurfaced about like like right during COVID mm-hmm. because he was on a six six month bender like he was just like fucked up what yeah for six months mm-hmm. how's that even possible he goes man i blinked and six months had passed i and i knew he was fucked up because like i he i messaged him so many times on facebook and i was really started to worry because i thought he was dead like he goes hard like he's a super addict like it's not even like easy like it's it's bad and he just like disappeared and he, when he came back, he was super gaunt and he was like very, very, very emaciated looking. And he's a big guy, like big, like when I say big, I mean like big, like huge. I don't know. When I went to watch him, he did a full split. He like jumped up, did a backflip and then landed in a split. And he's not a thin person. You think it's only thin people who can split, but no. he had, his legs are like two of mine. He's huge. And he was so skinny, like, like he looked like weird like mm. the face was super gaunt and emaciated it was, it was bad but yeah but not him so it was another guy he's super, the other guy is super healthy and whatever and he just he just loves to dance and he's like people like giving me money and he's like i don't care who he comes from he's like i've never fucked a dude but hey i'll give you a lap dance make you feel things <laughs> it's like okay all right <laughs> He used to he he works at the Playboy at the Playboy Club too. Is there a Playboy Club? Yeah, in in um in in the city. Mm. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that guy. He's into cosplay, so he's always like dressing up, and Comic Con and everything. He's there. That's cool. So, if you're a stripper, fuck you. I love you. <laughs> I'm just gonna cut that part out. Saying no, if you're a stripper, fuck you. <laughs> no, you have to let it stand. No, I love you because no, I, I love strippers. I won't do that. I won't do that. Sabotage your career. Last year, last year before Izu, we we had like a meet and greet for like all the people in the rave group, mm-hmm. and they were like hanging out, doing this and that. Everybody got together, and I was just like, "All right, you guys, I'm leaving." They're like, "Where are you going?" I was like, "I'm going to the strip club." Everybody was like, "I want to go," mm. but I was like, eh, "Okay." The, my, the car is outside, so if you're gonna come, you have to come right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I just fucking left them. That's the biggest regret. Chelsea's like, that's the biggest regret of my life. I should have come with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, when was this? Last year. When? Izu? Yeah, right before Izu. Oh. That's when everyone met in the rave group right mm-hmm. now. Um... Isn't it... Like, you know in other countries, like in the... In a lot of other countries... Um, sex work is legal I don't understand wh- Why it's not It's so stu- I mean, America does everything backwards Yeah You can risk your life But Go you fight can't war drink. At 18 But you can't But don't drink. dare you Fucking take a drink It's like We all watch porn It's so weird Because like Point to the person Who doesn't watch porn n- No What's strange to me Is that it's like It's backward It's so Like the solution to a problem is, is like not thought out at all. It's like, okay, we have a problem with young people drinking in the country. Let's raise the, the, the let's just raise the drinking age because that'll help. But isn't it so weird that they're like, we have a problem with... Um, 16 year olds drinking. We have a problem with young people drinking. Let's raise the age, yeah. fine, solve. People who are not supposed to, not in their right minds right. can just go and buy a gun. Let's make that stop happening nope no (laughs) 
No. Nope. Sell more guns. More guns. Yeah. With with same thing with sex work. It's like you can't you can't pay to have sex with someone, but if someone if someone's in the room with the camera, it's fine. Yeah. Because then it's porn. Pay. But don't do it in private. Yeah, America is very very fucked up. America is like a big fat corporation. It's like no, these are the rules, and we have to follow the rules. But it doesn't work anymore. No, nope, this is how we do it. <laughs> That's why we're losing in every front except the military. And they're making cyber inroads. So while we're stacking up on nuclear weapon, they're coming after us on online. <laughs> it's great because we're going to be fucked anyways. I don't want to. This country is going to like disappear. Oh, yeah. So fast. It's going to implode. I think if we have another four years 400, of Trump. 400 years my ass. If we have another four years of Trump, it's over. Yeah, but the it's problem just, is, it's just like, cool, we have a lot of nuclear weapons and shit, but like, if you can destroy the country from the inside, like, what the fuck does that even matter? I feel like other countries are just like watching us going like, oh, we don't need to point our nuclear missiles over there. They're killing them each other. <laughs> We're just going to implode from the... From <laughs> Uh, the US is so fucking ridiculous I had to unfollow um, You know who I don't know who, He's from Pineapple Oh that guy Yeah That shit was crazy He was going to not <coughs> Excuse that, me You know you're supposed to I cough that way It's fine Um. So Yeah he was posting stuff About like Saying the good old boys i don't even know what the f yeah stuff about that shit and like uh he's biden's a fucking this and that like he's like the good old boys are all patriotic and shit i'm like if you think that you're just you're just fucking kill yourself like fucking kill yourself literally please anyway i'm not trying to turn this political but like you know come on man what are Stop. we doing it's not even like Democrat or Republican here. Like, cool, you can do that. But at this point, Republicans just become stupid. Nobody's well, they're a not speaking out no, on no. the crazy shit that's going on. What? They're not speaking out. It's Ooh. just the Republicans. No, they they've accepted it. Yeah, that's them. That's who those people are. You're the one. No, that but there saying. are lots of like Republicans who are like, okay, this is crazy. These are not Republican ideals. No, Mark. Those are rich people. I don't think that's true. I do. No. I, I don't think. I no. That's not okay. It's not okay. You cannot be Republican in this day and age. No, because some people are are they have like, like, you know, pure Republican ideals. Like they don't believe in abortion they believe that we should be fiscally conservative they believe that we shouldn't curse and we shouldn't we should wait to get married to to fuck and this and that but like this shit like that what's going on with trump like him you know just being this i don't even know what to call him they're like no this is not what i believe in i'm not gonna vote democratically but this is not republican ideals he doesn't and the no, senate I agree. is not upholding Republican ideals. They're just like supporting whatever the president says. And so those people I respect, but they're not speaking out. They're mm. saying it like under their breaths. I think if you don't support abortion and you still think that we can't curse and all this dumb shit, then you're so fucking old that you should just go into another, some island and live by yourself. I have a question for you. And I want you to take some time to think about this. Go ahead. If you impregnate a woman and she gets an abortion without even telling you, would you be upset? What do you mean by not even telling me? Not even telling me that she got pregnant in the first place? Mm -hmm. You found out that she had an abortion. Was she keeping it from me, or was it just like, oh, I thought this was... No, she's, she definitely kept it from you. Oh, well, that, that's different. I'm not so much upset about her doing it, but if it wasn't like...
if it if it was specifically for her to keep it from me, then I'd I'd be like, hey, why the fuck did you do that? But I, would you be upset that she? But let's say she did tell you, and she was like, hey, I'm not keeping this kid, and you're like, but I'm kind of excited, and she's like, nope, I don't want it. Would you be angry? No, I'd be angry with myself. Why? Because I'd be like, why is this a person who I I was with? I'd just be angry with myself. I wouldn't for I would never force somebody to have a kid that they don't want to have. But because then it's just not what they want, you know. And maybe even after they have the kid, you know, people will say like, oh, even if you didn't want to have the kid, once you have it, you'll fall in love with it or whatever. It's like yes, but it wasn't. It didn't start off in the right circumstances. Mm. So I. Well, most know. of us are mistakes. So if we're being honest with ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> You should ask your dad if you were a mistake. So, no, it was a birthday present. To whom? To my dad. It's it's a long story. I know I was a few months off, but whatever. Um, so you were a planned pregnancy? Really? Yeah. I definitely was. Because they it. tried before, and they my mom lost uh, oh. lost the kids. So, anyways, um, I would have had a, an older sister. I guess God wanted us all to be men <laughs> in my family. My whole, all, I only have brothers, so um, it would have been nice to have a sister, I think. It would have helped a lot <laughs> with my development. What if she treated you like, oh my God, please do not even look at me. You're so weird and gross. We would have been like a year apart or two years apart. Lots of people are like that. Like, don't look at me. Don't talk to me. I don't really like you. Um, all right, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I can't tell you. I don't know. It didn't happen. So, um, but no, I, w I wouldn't be upset with her. I'd just be really confused. I'd be like, why did I think that she would be excited and she's not? You know, I'd just be very confused. No. I'm usually, I'm like always on the same page with the people I'm dating usually. So it would be very, um, very weird for me to for her to be in a different place I'd, I'd be confused I'd have to look into myself first I, I think know. a lot of guys are like yelling at their computer screens or their phones being like uh you're fucking weird I'll be pissed as fuck I think you're fucking weird and you should ask yourself why you think that because that's not cool because that's definitely a you problem yeah there we have it so that's our abortion talk so although I do think men should get a choice in abortion get a say to some extent yeah yeah mm -hmm. I mean I think after it's like a certain period of time then yeah no. my body my choice don't tell me what to do with my body yeah I don't know man it's rough because it's it's just not true what people what a lot of people are saying like the general like public view is like Oh, the woman has had such a stronger connection with the child than the man does, and this and that. It's just like, I just don't really think that's true. Are you crazy? Mark, no, i cool with the maternal shit, but like, you can have just as much of a relationship with your kid as a woman. And oh, I, you mean like once a child is born? Yeah, I thought you meant no, like I'm in utero. <laughs> I was just like, wait, are you crazy? <laughs> what? No. No, not like, well, it's in the... <laughs> Um, yeah, no, that's horseshit. Yeah, no, so that's what I'm talking about, yeah. though. So it's like, men can be just as attached to a child. And so, so like, I, I think, again, with the choice and the abortion and everything, it matters a little bit, but also with, especially in, like, in, in family court. What are we talking about? Anyways. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'll like, in family court, something. like, they always give it to the wife? Yeah. Oh. Even if the dad is better equipped. Always. Oh. There's almost no situation where the man wins. That's not true. Yes, it is. Kevin Hart got his kids. Good for him. He must have gotten very lucky. No, it's like the person who is... Most of the time it goes down the line, Steph. And the man is like, oh, no, I don't have the time. I'll take them on the weekends. Have you been through a divorce, Mark? Have you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> 
I have. <laughs> you went to court? Your yes, parents I went did. to court and yes. they did the thing and yes. they gave it to your mom? Yes. They gave you to yes. your mother? And no one said that your no. dad didn't have a lawyer? My dad did have a lawyer. And he didn't say that she was unfit? Mark, my mom fought so fucking hard to have me because she knew she was not equipped to get, to get, hang on to me. But my dad didn't want to ruin everything and ruin my life, so he's just like, all right. Like, he took on all my mom's debt and everything just so that he could make sure that, like, she could take care of me because he knew he wasn't, she wasn't going to let go. His lawyer wasn't very good. She's unwell stuff, so clearly he could have just like, hey, let's do a psych evaluation, and they and the the documents would have shown that she's not well. Therefore, she's unfit. I don't even know if he had a lawyer. He definitely did not have a lawyer. That's the first thing that the lawyer would do. Let's have a psych eval. We'll evaluate both of them. Also, my mom, my dad still respects my mom, so he, I know she wanted me, so I don't know. I don't know all that. Maybe I'll ask him about it. No, but. that's super weird. Your dad did not try at all. Um, but yeah. Yeah, you should you should hit your dad. You should hit your dad, because he knows that she's unfit and he didn't fight as hard. Okay. When you see him, you should hit him. Yeah. Just like. Yeah. <laughs> Is that how I did? <laughs> you should hit your dad. <laughs> Okay. I'll okay. keep that in mind. I'll let him know. <laughs> also, I want to say publicly to black people. Yes, keep burping. I would like to say publicly that I'm going to ask you to stop hitting your kids publicly. No, just stop hitting your kids. <laughs> that's an that's a old Cat Williams joke. <laughs> <laughs> just, just stop hitting your kids. It does not help in any way. Yeah. Hitting, a, hitting another person is not okay in any regard. Like, it's just not. You can smack them. No, you can't. Yeah, I'll smack my kid. You're an idiot. Yeah. Yes. I'm you don't think your, your kid did something bad and you just pow upside the head? No. No, you never hit your kid. No, I, I, no you don't hit kids. Oh. Like, just like you don't hit your significant other. Yeah. Because they would be like, what the fuck are you doing? Or, or also known as abuse or physical harassment. So how would you or train assault. your child? Like Not with hitting. And... You, you just talk to them. You what? don't hit a kid, Mark. Okay, fine. I don't understand why you're making me seem like I'm beating down my kids. No. That's what you want to do. No. You want to no. beat the shit out and you're going to take the belt out. Hmm. No. That's, that's unnecessary. I mean, uh, I've never had any problems with disciplining kids, and I've worked with kids a lot. I've never, not I've never, though. not once. Have, Mark, I fucking lived with this child. No, he's not my child, but. And you couldn't, you cannot hit that child, and you cannot discipline that child because he's not yours. Okay. So it's not like you had the choice, and you're like, I took the high road because I'm the Pope's colleague. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you align your your kid? You just talk to him, Mark. It's not that crazy. Anytime the kid did anything bad, I, I didn't even have to yell at him. He knew. Kids know when they do something wrong. They inherently know. You hitting them does not help. It just breaks trust. Were you hit? Hmm? My dad pulled my ears a few times. Oh, that was it? My hair. I think he slapped me one time. That's it? I don't know. Maybe I don't remember the rest. Maybe I blocked him out. But <sighs> um, yeah, I'm from Jamaica, so you get hit. Don't like, hit your kids, <laughs> even in school. Don't hit your kids, <laughs> just don't. Period. <laughs> There's no situation where you should or or have the right to in any way, just like you wouldn't hit your coworker for doing something wrong, or your friend or anybody else. You but don't it's like hit you have kid. to discipline your child, Steph. You have to, you absolutely have to not discipline. With, not physically.
I don't mind. I I don't think. I don't. I think like this. The belt situation is weird. That's super weird. Not okay. Um, but you have to find ways to. And then they go child. like, "I'm doing this because I love you." I'm like, is that true? <laughs> but look, I see a lot of kids like running around and they're so disobedient and their parents and I'm like, you never got smacked. That's why you're like this. They're like, Bobby, Bobby. And the kid just keeps doing what they're doing. And I'm like, that's weird. You know why? Why? You don't need to hit a child to, to have them understand that you're not okay with it because the kid looks up at you as their caretaker, correct? Mm hmm so you're what they know most of their life especially if they're young four five six mm -hmm. so you're their biggest influence in their life they learn those behaviors from you in the first place and they get and then when you're screaming at them saying bobby bobby because i don't know why that's the name but <laughs> that's what um, we're going with yeah you're screaming that the kid like stop doing this stop doing that it makes them do it more because you're giving them attention. When you when you do not give a child attention for their bad behavior, and this is not something you have to do once they're able to walk and talk and all that, you tr you start doing that with them from when they're very young so that those behaviors don't happen when they can start running around stores and stuff. There's no need to, to, to be out there screaming at your kid or anything. It's just how you treat them when they're very 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 small that's know, it man you can't pick your kid up every single time they start crying you can't do this and it's very hard to balance it so but you believe in the in the fur no not the fervor method the um i forgot what it's yeah it's the it, it's the fur it just works so you don't pick them up every time they cry you no. don't you let them self-soothe not not all the time you have to be there and you got to make sure they're safe but like you like you can't you can't freak out yeah like a lot of new parents do this they and i watched this a lot when i was living with my aunts mm -hmm. every single time i'd watch the kid because the kid would hang out with me sometimes but it maybe for like three or four minutes at the most because the mom was always around could mm -hmm. not leave her alone so she would just start crying the second she left like left out of sight mm -hmm. like scream crying and and in the house i was one of the only people that could just look at her and just like shake my head and she'll just stop crying she'll be like i okay <laughs> Because the mom, what the mom will do is come in with all this energy and like be like, oh my God, what happened? What happened? And the kid sees that and says, oh, this is good and keeps crying. I'm getting attention. This is good. Mm -hmm. And then same thing with like anything else. Like you'll see the kid. I used to watch this happen so much. She'd fall down or something and I'd hear a noise and the kid would be fine. Nothing would happen. And I'd just watch and then because i didn't really get involved with the kid too much because the mom was interesting um so so i just like hung around but i'd see her, her get herself hurt or something i would not acknowledge it she'd always look at me and i would never look at her i'd just look away i'd be like oh whatever you're fine and she wouldn't say anything but if the if the mom was anywhere in the house or anything like that she would do it and just start screaming you know she, nothing happened just to get attention and I'm like that kid's gonna be really fucked up because now their default has literally become okay when I have any mild inconvenience I scream and someone comes and helps me mm -hmm. that is now programmed in that child's brain for the rest of their life yeah and now that's a behavior that they have to break if they're even going to that's literally a Karen mm. already so imagine in high school when like they're having any trouble they have zero conflict resolution skills now mm. because they're anytime they scream they get what they want same thing with like kids and food like the parents that that'll that give in and give the kid the food just like no you don't like, you don't you just have this like it's you don't get chicken nuggets all the time 
It's very confusing to me. My grandmother and my grandfather, they never yelled. But when you were in public with them, you got the eye. Mm-hmm. You're like, oh, Did they ever shit. hit you? I was like a good kid. Did they ever hit your brothers? No, I got slapped. Uh, like, maybe. my grandmother, she only gladiator slapped. Like, she did. What? So, like, what are you talking about? <laughs> I've never, never like, seen that in my life. Yeah. Who slaps with two hands? It's called, in Jamaica, it's called a gladiator. That's, that seems like it would hurt less. No. Because this, is like you go over there, but this one, it's like both You get sides. caught. <laughs> you get caught. What? You're caught. So, yeah, I got gladiator slapped. And I think that was... I think I got... I think I got like spank spanked like maybe once on the ass. No, they they just they just hit you with what? Like a belt. That that's so weird. Yeah. That's so weird. Can you imagine? I don't I that's so fucking weird to me. Is it? So fucking weird. Because that's like a that's a decision. Like Which you decide to hit me. your kid. You like decide to hit your kid. But it's what you know. It's like you know, and we were like good. Me and my brother were like really good. And like when I got older and started doing like more rebellious things, like associating with people who weren't Jehovah's Witnesses or like going out and coming home late, mm. they hated that. Mm. And <laughs> I would go out, and they'd be like, "Go back where you came from." And I told my friends, "Just wait. I'll see if I get let in." And they were like, go back where you came from. And I was just, go back to the party. What? <laughs> they wouldn't let you in the house? No. Why? Because they're like, why are you out so late? Where are you coming from? It's like, uh, do we have to go through this every time? They're like, go back where you came from. I'm like, okay. That's so weird. I just went back to partying and I party until 7 a.m. <laughs> and then you'd come home? Were they mad? Of course they were mad. They were furious. No, I never did that stuff. I never partied like that. It's just interesting. <laughs> Yeah, I was always partying. When I left my country, I had three parties. One on like one on each coast and then one in the middle. And there were like 200 people at every single one. It was insane. <laughs> it's their big shot over here. No, it's not big shot. It's when you love people and they just love you back. It's their big shot over here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I never had that kind of stuff. My dad was with the grades. He yelled at me a lot, which also wasn't good. Because that, now that's become my <laughs> way of, uh, like, my response to things, which has been very difficult to unlearn. Because um, I get upset and, like, defensive. Um, yeah. I don't get yelled. I didn't get yelled at. Yeah, that's why you don't do it. So you don't yell. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I got yelled at. I, I didn't really get hit, though. Wasn't a thing, but I think the yell that is like more damaging because it's your self image. It's like it's a fight to rebuild that, and you always have to remind yourself that you know. I think there's something so fucked up with hitting a kid Mm. because a kid is defenseless, yeah, and then they're and they literally can't protect themselves. So like, even like, let's say if they're touching, reaching to touch the stove and you're like, ah! that's not. Mark, the only way a kid would know what that means is if you've hit them before and they're scared of that. Mm. Steph loves kids, like loves kids. Like if you do it to a dog, yeah. you'll know if their owner hits them or not yeah. because they'll respond. Oh my god. If I a dog, that. if you go like this and a dog goes like this, they've been hit before. Yeah. If, if you not, do that, if not just then they're like just confused, like, I don't right? know what's going on what here. They've like, never seen that before. Yeah. It's the same thing with a kid. I'll tell you something. I'm not going to tell you who the person is, but you know the person. And I told it to Steve Nani, almost like, stop talking to that person. My friend, like, beat his dog. Like, really, like, merciless. Like, because the dog trashed the house. I know this house. person? Yeah. The dog trashed the house. And he beat the dog to a fucking pulp, and he never did it again. She like tore up the whole house, the sofa, the this, the that, everything. Shitted everywhere, pissed everywhere, and he was very upset. And he, and with then, the animals, it's different. I think I don't know. You whip a racehorse. I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, no, the kid thing is, like, very... 
The thing with pee is you just use hot sauce. If like a dog pisses. Where do you put the hot sauce? Like in the pee. And then you like make the dog smell it. Oh. Yeah, but you don't have to hit them. It just tells them like don't do that. Yeah. Or if you don't want them to eat something on the counter, like you just put hot sauce all over things on the counter and just let the dog go up and eat it. And then it's like, okay, everything out there is bad. Mm-hmm. Cool. I'm really good. I'm really good with kids. Um, like I, I'm never like. Rah, 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 rah. I just I reason with them. Like you see me with my sister, but I'm like very firm. Like you can't do the. It's very strange when you have adults like doing the face. Like that's why Alice. I broke up with Alice for a very long doing time. Like. It's so weird to me. Because just like you said, you scream and you get what you want. Or you whine and you get what you want. And she I did that. I think you have to be very careful with that. Because sometimes you, you do need to let the kid have it. Because it teaches them to... Because I used to do that with the kids I nannied and stuff. And like mm-hmm. would work with. And it does help. Like, yeah, you should ask a few times. Like, don't just accept no all the time. Because sometimes it's a yes. But Mm -hmm. you can't always... No, but if they should have it, why are you going to deny them of it? Don't make them ask multiple times. No, because sometimes it's like different things. It's... I I don't know. Like, I can't think of a specific situation right now. But I think it's a good thing. But don't whine. I'm not a whine. I remember this kid with Alex. A kid that I was nannying out in the Hamptons. He threw a massive hissy fit with me on the beach. Or no, his sister did. Or both of them did? I don't know. I think it was both of them. Uh, the sister has some problems. She takes medication and stuff. Um, and they're in a really rough situation because their mom had uh, has ALS or had ALS. I don't know if she's still around. Um, very bad degenerative nerve disease. Um, and so that was a little bit interesting. But they're like... I went out with them to the beach and I was and they were both there and like the the dad was like don't let them have any ice cream nothing like nothing like that and I'm like all right yeah that's fine I I don't like buy them sweets like that when we go out anyways unless like the dad or mom specifically is like hey take them out for ice cream or whatever I'm like all right um but I was out and they were like ah I they're like ah I really want this like ice or like this cold ice or whatever and I'm like, no, we can't have it. You were there when your dad said no. And they're like, and they both started throwing hissy fits because they feed off each other's energy. That's what kids do. So if you have a screaming kid in a room, all the other kids are going to start screaming too. It's what people do in general. You know, one person yells fire, everyone freaks out. Uh, and they started throwing a hissy fit on the beach and I straight up just left. Just walked away. I literally, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go home. And I just walked back to the car and I sat in the car and waited for them. They both got in quietly and we drove home. <laughs> that was it. Yeah. And then I brought them back to the beach like an hour later. That's yeah, something. I never... I... What's the battery pack? These batteries are not that good. No. There's like a certain type. I guess the Amazon batteries are not... The $21 batteries are not the best. No. Even though it was literally full. Okay. Alright, we're back. Sorry. Yeah. I would never... I've never... I've never had a child throw a hissy fit. Well, I guess it's not your child, so clearly you have I, no, yeah, no control over He Because it behave. worked with him. You know? Yeah. Because it's like, imagine... It's also the situation where they're often like the dad and everyone was stressed. And the dad also throws hissy fits. Yeah. Adults who throw hissy fits are the worst. And, like, this guy was ridiculous because he was, like, 6'4", and he's, like, screaming at his wife, and who's, like, who cannot speak. It's just a really bad situation. Like, n- not... I can't imagine the stress of that, though. Like, your wife is, like, literally deteriorating in front of you, mm-hmm. and, and you he was trying to get the money small kids. From her. What? Because he's... I don't think... He's not a good guy. He doesn't work? He doesn't have He does money. work. He has a hedge fund. So why is he, what money is he trying to get from her? I don't know. Her man. family money? Yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, it's really fucked up. He's not a good guy. I'm so um, happy that I don't care. I'm really happy the way I grew up. I'm yeah. so happy because number one, I grew up with old people. So like the things that most young people worry about, oh my God, how do I look? Am I like, do I look good? All the latest clothes and the this and the that. Those things mean nothing to me. 
Yeah. I like because you get all that shit from your parents. What do you mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, it's like all learned. of the, all of your all of the things that are important to you come from your parents. Yeah. Or from whoever your guardian is. Whomever you respect. Yeah. Or yeah. It's that. very strange because like for me, all I learned as a kid was like be nice and be nice to people and and stand up for yourself, have a good self image. That's the only thing I learned. Mm. And my house was like the house, like the hub. It's like, you know, we all have that one friend that everybody goes to that friend's house for everything. Yeah. That was my house. So now my doors are always open. So it's like, like living in a tiny house is weird to me because you can't have people over. So like that's weird mm. and all this other shit. So I don't know. It's like, I am so happy how I grew up. But then I, I look at other situations like not being with my parents and I'm like did that fuck me up <laughs> because it's like I don't know I'm exploring that in my therapy like we both just like stopped our therapy my therapist like moved from her practice and I didn't I, know uh, that and you... I wasn't getting along with mine as well as we should have let's yeah. just not get into it <laughs> yeah and his, so we're looking for a therapist yeah. right now not so. individually. <laughs> yeah. Um, so. Obviously, Steph. Yeah, like no. you, you always jump in with the most nonsensical shit. <laughs> um, <laughs> Captain anyways, Obvious over here. Anyways. <laughs> he just um, kicked me. You see how you resolve conflict? Anyway. He always is trying um, And yeah. you said don't hit kids. How about don't hit your business partner? Oh, my God. Be quiet. Um, I don't. Yeah. That's Do you weird. like the way you grew up? I loved it. I loved it. Because we traveled a the lot. The values you did. Yeah. You had and, and the values. Every, it yeah. was. And I, the large heartedness and just that openness. Yeah. And like always being grateful and never taking up too much space with yourself. Mm-hmm. Like. I didn't have that so much. But don't laugh. The way you did your face, it, it was funny. Yeah. I thought you. you know. No, I didn't have that so much, but I had different values. I have very strict, a very, very strict moral rules yeah. that I learned from my dad. Yeah. It's like, you have to help weak people or like people who are in a, who can't. Yeah. And then you have to be incredibly respectful to women. Yeah. And those are like the two biggest things. Being nice so much wasn't really in there. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not the nicest person, but I, I always respect people though. You know, and like trust is a big thing with me. You remember that time when you pushed me because you were so angry? Yes. What about it? How does that tie into like all of the things like don't do this and don't? Yeah, uh, that I didn't like. I don't get aggressive with people. Don't say that. I don't. That's not true. Not physically. I don't. I don't get physically aggressive with people. So why are you always trying to hit me? Mark, I don't try to hit you in an aggressive way. What are you talking about? We should have a fucking camera in here. One yes, day so they could see every time. Do, every time you. How many things you throw at me, and how many bottles you hit me with, and cups, and your cup is broken because you kept hitting me with it. That's not true. The the cup is. Broken. You know that is true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cup is broken because I did it too tight. No, and then it, the it, cup it, is broken because you kept hitting me with it, and the inside one would flex on the thing. Remember when you hit me with my hydro why? mask why and you did heard I, the inside metal hit why the outside Why did I metal? hit you? Why did I hit you? What were you doing? I did. Yeah, I just saw you and I started hitting you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. That's exactly what parents say. What were you doing? Why did I hit you? Do you remember why I hit you? Steph, you're way more abusive. You literally just kicked me for no reason. Yes, I kicked, And you do that Mark, all the I did it in a friendly, playful way. I didn't kick you. Steph, every time when me and you have a disagreement or something or you feel <laughs> weird, I'm leaving. No! My God! <laughs> Steph, stop it! Why are you so disgusting? Keep talking. Can you see my foot here? Oh, yes, you can. Um, see what I mean, though? You don't need to hit people to get the point across. This is what I'm trying to say. Um, (sighs) 
So yeah, just don't hit your kids. Be respectful to them. You have to respect your kids just like you respect anyone else. You see the respect that I get? Because you can't, you cannot have a respectful child if you do not respect the child. What do you have planned for the day? Um, I'm gonna make another few phone calls. Um, I'm looking forward to wrapping up this deal with this woman. So happy. But it's gonna be late tonight. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call her when we're done here. You are? Mm -hmm. Again? What do you mean by again? Didn't you call her last night? No, we emailed. Oh. Um, she emailed me. I do, sent you the Do you think email. the husband's off today? No. Yeah, the husband's But I wanna talk to her to find out, you know, to find, to like set a time or this and that, whatever. Just text her. No, I'm gonna call her. Okay. Um, and then trying out the new pitch. Yeah, which which is working really well. So Steph gave me some pointers, um, and that's like how it goes, you know. You. <laughs> you alright there? Yeah. Every whenever and I and I tell this to him all the time. I'm like, whenever you're doing something. Find somebody who is completely independent of what you're doing and have them give you feedback. Because sometimes you're like so in the zone or like so in your own bubble that you can't see it. So you can't make the necessary adjustments. So if you're like a web designer, get someone who's not into that to just like look at your website, play with it a little bit and they'll be like, I don't understand this, what does that button do? I don't know, it's not intuitive, this and that. And, they're, and you're like, wait, so swipe over. But they're like, but why? Nothing tells me to swipe, I don't know what, what's supposed to happen and, and it's like oh maybe it's not intuitive maybe I need to put something you look really tired I'm pretty tired I woke up like four times last night God. anyway so yeah get someone independent who is not in your room and have them look at your work it will always get better and be open to the feedback you know don't get defensive or whatever especially if it's your teammate because you cannot tackle your teammate right so, um, it's good. So Steph gave me some pointers and I've completely changed the way that I'm um, positioning the company when I talk to people and it's working out. So we're very, very excited about this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so this is what I'm gonna be doing today. I have some people that I wanna touch base with and um, we're very, very excited. Yeah. Aren't we excited? So excited. So excited. Yeah. And I have other stuff to do. Yeah. <laughs> I have I have contracts to finish up yeah. for the art sale. And then I'm going to name the art part of our business galleries. Critter galleries. Uh, I knew you'd love it. So love I love yeah, that. I, I didn't ask you because I already knew you were going to love it. Oh, so my I'm God. Like, Critter yeah. galleries. Yeah. So. Oh, my God. So Creator Studios, Creator Gallery. Galleries. Galleries, Creator Galleries. I think it's sexier. It's so sexy. Yeah. That's a sexy name. I didn't ask you because I knew you were gonna love it, so I'm like, I just told you what I'm gonna do. We're, we're, we're in sync. We're in sync. It happens a lot, actually. Where we're just, like, we'll get a very similar idea at a very similar time, and we'll both come to each other and be like, I have an idea, and I'm like, ah, that's my idea. I was like, cool, cool, cool. We're in the same Steph place. is very good at taking an idea, fleshing it out, adding to it, and making it better. Yeah. So. I come up with my stuff every once in a while, but I'm a lot better at building off a base. Yeah. That's, that's usually my thing. I should change my, yeah. my sign name to Mark, because this is the sign for innovate, or like invent, and... I feel like I'm What's pretty... improve? Improve is like improve. So you're Ooh, taking it. Yeah. Is that my... Yeah. It's like you're improving. Yeah. Don't, don't put it here. See, that's like fucking like, like Chucky. What? <laughs> or like Jason. What? I don't know what that means. Like Freddy versus Jason. It's like, you know. Because he's a slasher. Anyway, so this is, is the that sign the for sign me. for Jason? No, but it just looks like that. It looks like menacing, like not. So this Does is this, this is a sign for improve because it's like getting better progressively. Oh, it's like oh, okay. Yeah, All right. so you can go improve. Yeah. So this could be stuff. Yeah, I'm not. I'm I'm creative, but I'm not creative in that. In like a from 
nothing kind yeah. of thing. I'm not good with a blank canvas. I feel like you say that a lot, but you come up with amazing, very creative things all the time. Like, look at my logo, the banner art that you did for my YouTube channel. That's so beautiful. I love it so much. That took so me much. weeks to come up with. Really? Like, sometimes, like, with same thing with the with the Have We Met logo. Or no, with the fucking... Um, I was about to say, we don't have yeah, one. Yeah, we don't have one for that <laughs> yet. For, with the... Um, stay tuned. Um, with the... Um, Giggle and Grind logo. Ah, uh, the second the I second just, iteration yeah. was so. Sometimes beautiful. I just wake up and like it's just flowing. I'll just be like, okay, I have, I know exactly what I can do with this. Like mm-hmm. it just comes to my mind, and I'm like, I, I can execute this, and it'll look good. But if I can't just like sit down and start creating something, I'm not that kind of person. Yeah, I need to have like a very concrete vision of what I'm making, or else it doesn't come together. I can't sit down and just be creative. I asked this of caviar. Because I told him that, listen, man, things are moving. It's going to get big. It's mm-hmm. going to get very, very, like, big, very, very yeah, quickly. Well, and now he's finding out very soon. <laughs> and he said to me, Random I check. asked him, hey, can you make beautiful art on demand? Like, yeah. can I tell you, hey, I need three massive pieces and you can do it? Or do you need to wait for the inspiration to come? And this, he's like, no, 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 I can do it. Tell me what you want, when you want it. I can, I can give it to you. But that's what I'm saying, like. If you give him a direction, he can do it. No, he's like, J- just tell me. Tell me what you want. Yeah. No, 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 no. He's uh, like, tell me when you need, like, uh, you know, whenever you need it, you let me know, and I'll, I'll put it together every time. And he's yeah. like, I'll always give you more than what you asked me for. Yeah. I'm good with deadlines. Yeah. If you need something by a deadline, something will be there. Okay. But it won't be your best work. It might not be the best. Yeah. But it'll always be there, you know. Like I, I just I. I can create on demand if you need it, yeah. but like having a direction or like at least a general idea is like a good starting point, yeah. you know. So I gotta tell you, Steph, I am so proud of you. Like, Thank you. no, like seriously, because <laughs> you you've come so far, and every time every time you talk, I'm like, well, not every time you talk, <laughs> but like. I really am very, very proud of you. It's, it's, and I'm, I feel incredibly lucky. What does that even mean? That I'm proud of you? What, like, what are you talking about? Just your commitment to growth, your commitment to being better, your commitment to excellence, your commitment to not lying and cheating and stealing. Mm. It's just, it's good. Like, you're like, you're a good person. Got to that time where you yelled at me. You're a shit person. You have shit tendencies. <laughs> I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> you you have shit tendencies, but you're at your core. You're a really good man, and I I. It's all I ever wanted. You know, like just a good person. Like I don't have to second guess you. I don't have to think about like if you're slicing my neck behind my back or. Whatever. Well, I yeah, that's I really, not something you want to think about in a in a any type of relationship. A lot of people have to. It's like I don't trust the person who is working next to me, or I don't trust. Especially them. in business, that's yeah. the biggest thing I'm scared of as a company. Like as we grow, I don't ever want that to be the feeling. Yeah. Because that just stunts innovation. Yeah. And it stunts yeah. people because at the end of the day, I don't want to have you working for me for the rest of your life. I want you to like go off and do not everyone is going to be that because not everyone's an entrepreneur or whatever mm-hmm. but like and it's going to be a little awkward because we are going to be the best of the best so it's like you come up to us mm-hmm. <laughs> so um but it's like i i never want people to stop being better like i don't like i'm not really one for like the general job description you know it's not like follow your job and that's it it's like yeah. do more do what you feel good doing in that position yeah so I, I'm just, I want to make sure that that's the precedent we set. And it's good, because you never want to be like, oh, what if I say something wrong to my manager or whatever? Like, that happens a lot in marketing. Yeah. Um, if you're, in like, working on a marketing team and you fuck up a lot, and especially if you're working for, like, a corporation, they'll just be like, all right, get the fuck out of here. You fucked up. Yeah. You're, you've lost $10,000 or $20,000. Get the hell out. It's like, that's all I'm worth. <laughs> It just ruins the person and also like the the it once you do something like that in your company it ruins your company. Did you hear what I said? You're proud of me? I'm not good with compliments. 
Which means what? I don't know how to take them. Thank you. You're supposed to sit with it, sir. Okay. So. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, 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 it's just weird. I don't, this is just me. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I just expect that out of everyone. Like, that you're not gonna fucking be shit behind my back. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know. I just think it's like basic shit about people. So I don't, I don't really get it. Like why it's like a thing so yes try to be better all times isn't that like part of life like a whole thing of life like just be better and do more like don't fall behind isn't that a given no I'll just let you just okay. let you talk <laughs> we have work to do don't we <laughs> you know I don't have photos of any of those pieces that are in that house and I need a photo of it to put in the certificate of authenticity <laughs> and I need caviar to sign it I'm so I'm so I'm so I'm so I'm so proud of you oh my god I really am proud of you do I have to say it about you now no I'm proud of you. Mm. <laughs> this is a guy. But sorry, he's taken. But anyhow, keep doing good work, Steph. Don't lose those good things. No. That's why you gotta be around good people. It's very, very important. When you know you're a good person, you should only be around good people. Because the more shit people you're around, the more you realize and you start to believe that the rest of the world is shit. It's kind of hard in business. Actually, it's easier in business because you can choose who you are around. And it's not like your job where this is the family you're in. What about working with the clients we work with? No, but the clients is okay because it's going to end at a certain point And you can choose whether or not you're going to work with them again. So mm -hmm. it's okay. I cannot wait to tell people to fuck off. <laughs> I'm so excited for when we're able to just be like, I don't. I don't want to talk to you today or ever. Just fuck off. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're not good. I don't like you. Go away. But yeah. All right. This has gone on long enough. An hour and a half. Thank you for sharing concern when you couldn't find me. I, that's, that's nice. <laughs> and I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. I wasn't just going to show up at your house because I, I knew you were, your phone was probably dead. And you just got home and fell asleep. Like, I, I knew, basically, but it was weird in the morning when I started calling you and you did not answer. Yeah. I'm, not the, I'm not the type of person to freak out because, like, even if I went to your house, what was I going to do? I can't get into your house. <laughs> yeah. So... All right. Well, thank you. Thank you freak out though. You're oh no, I would have. I would have come to your house that same night. Yeah, you're a very freak out kind of person. I'm not freaking out. I would just come to the house. I don't know why though. Because I can't find you. That's a little weird. And, is it weird? And if I'm at my house, then what is that going to help with? No, I know that you're there. Or if I don't know that you're there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something else. <laughs> I can't sit there. What about just waiting? That's weird. That makes no sense to me. That's not logical. Because it's very atypical. If you're somebody who disappears all the time, then I'd be like, okay, fine. But if you're not that person, then I, I would come to your house. Yeah. Remember once you even got arrested? Yeah. And you were freaking out? I wasn't freaking out. I was just like... This is I I knew it was a bad idea. I mean, I wasn't freaking out because like what was gonna happen to him? There's nothing that's gonna. You happen did not to sleep him. at all that night. Of course, I didn't sleep. Hmm. How could I sleep when he was like away? Uh, I don't get that. <laughs> I did definitely fall asleep. <laughs> well, he's not yours. No, like even with someone, I could. Stuff well, probably not. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs>
Yeah, I absolutely did not sleep. And like it I was, stayed with you till like three in the morning. Yeah. Talking mm-hmm. to you that night. Until I fucking passed out because I couldn't stay up anymore. Yeah. We all told him it was a bad idea. And now he has felony charges for fucking protesting. Fucking police. I think he got it down to like a misdemeanor or something like that. It's not gonna be a felony. No, of course, but it's still a pain in the ass. But he's very happy about it because he's like, I'm like a slice of history. Like, I was there. You know? <laughs> I don't get that. <laughs> he's like I got arrested like, within the first 30 minutes after I dropped my iPhone. <laughs> I would not tell anybody that story if that happened to me. Well, he's not going to tell it that way. He's going to tell it as if he was a fucking hero? Malcolm X. Oh my God. Like, I was protesting and this and that and the police grabbed me and, you know. That's how you tell it. It's like you. It's like, did you see me catch that wave? You're on it for two seconds. Did you see me? Did you see me? It's like, dude, you look like everybody else in black in black plastic. It's not plastic. Black rubber, like you know. Ooh. What are you saying? You should maybe that'll be my nickname. Black, black rubber. rubber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, get a pink wetsuit, and then yeah. I'll see you for two seconds Ooh. when you get on a wave. I love for that. Oh my god, maybe I should start a wetsuit brand that does really cool artistic graphics. Yes, and colors, colors. What's up with this? Oh my god, what if we got like artists to make like patterns for it? I would love for that to happen. Ugh. Anyway, I'm really proud of you. I you mean a lot to me. And is this bad for sound? Yes. Okay. My Um, beard is getting very thick. So, um, yep, I think that's it for us. You have yeah, any closing it's words? Over. What? You have any closing words? Uh, don't hit your kids. Or your pets. Or your significant other, yeah. for sure. That's no, off limits. Just don't, hit, just don't hit your kids. Everybody keep I'd your rather hands you to hit themselves. your significant other than your kids. No, everybody just keep your hands to yourself. Just hit my hands to myself. Mm. I don't understand why women start fights. All right, so this is gonna go on for another thirty minutes. So let's just stop. Anyway, just don't hit anybody. Yeah. Just don't hit people. Yeah. Stop hitting each other. Go ahead. I love you. As I'm saying it to the side of your face. Mm-hmm. It's the best side to say it to. And I love you. <laughs> Starts doing a shaka at the end of all these. A what? A shaka. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Thank you for taking my trash. I've been taking your trash for days. Thank you for always taking my trash.